Alan was Salan, everybody. It's Ahmed, the public relations official of Hamas. Tonight, we have the official awards of jihadi politicians. And tonight, a surprise, all three award winners are from the great jihadi state of Australia. So the first award winner who will be getting a signed copy of Dimi for Dummies, signed by the Sheikh Jeremy Corbyn himself, is none other than Penny Fatima Wong. She so rightly condemned the Jewish connection, the Jewish native title to the West Bank, notwithstanding that it's a bank. And she declared that the West Bank belongs to the native Palestinian people and not the Yahudi, not the Zioni. So we thank her, Penny, today the West Bank, tomorrow West Tel Aviv, and inshallah together the day after that, the rest of the West, you will be getting a signed copy. The next person to get this award, again, a signed copy by Sheikh Jeremy Corbyn himself, is none other than Josh Suleiman, burned the Israeli flag, burns. His Twitter profile, his Facebook profile, his, his threads profile, all silent to Penny Rong and the Labour Party, silencing the voice of one group asserting native title whilst championing the voice of others for native title. We want to thank Josh Suleiman, burn the Israeli flag burns, for his silence and his acquiescence with jihad and with suppressing the connection of the Jews and the Zionic to Jerusalem, to Hebron, to Tiberia, and to all the Jewish towns, which we all know they are connected to, but we just say a big enough lie loud enough and everybody believes us and send us checks. And again, in the vein of checks, we want to thank the Labour Party for re-signing the checks to UNRWA, $10 million of your tax dollars coming to UNRWA so we can pay the Palestinian martyrs and shahids and jihadis who carry out brave terrorist attacks against innocent civilians. You know, as we say here in Palestine, shahids don't grow on trees. So we want to thank you for re-signing the checks and sending them to us it is good for you, all of you, to know that your tax dollars and your politicians are hard at work helping jihad. The third and final person who will win an award, and this is a special, special, special award. It is the Knife of Jihad Award. It is emblazoned with Khaybar al Yahudi. And this is going to the independent jihadist apologist, Lydia Thorpe. She was formerly of the Greens. Now she is independent jihadi apologist. And she got up in Parliament and she spoke of our attempted genocide. And yes, the Palestinian people, we mourn every year all of our attempted genocides against the Yahudi. We failed in the 20s. We failed in the 30s. All of our brave volunteers with Haj Amin al-Hussein, with the SS and the Nazis, they failed in their attempted genocide. We failed in the 48 war. We failed in the 67 war. We failed in the 73 war. We failed with Intifada 1, 2, 3. We will fail in Intifada 4, 5 and 6. It's like a bunch of bad Steven Seagal films. But she remembered and got up in Parliament and spoke about all of our attempted genocides. We thank you, Lydia Thorpe. You were formerly with the Greens. Green is the color of Islam. And you were backing the Jihad and Hamas for many years. And now you have gone to back Jihad independently. We thank you, Lydia. May you go from strength to strength. Last but not least, we want to thank all of you supporters of the Labour. Here we have red on the Palestinian flag. Red is for Labour. Green is for the Greens. And the black is for the black flag of the Jihad. So when you vote, when you vote in the election for Labour and for the Greens, know that you are backing Jihad, you are backing Hamas, you are rewarding terror, and you are backing the Palestinian people and suppressing the native title of the Yahudi, of the Zioni. Yalla, salamat, shukran, habibi.